uh, different uh, tactics and well I'll explain as I go along so we'll uh, create a new campaign in single player here you have a choice between blitz and classic mode classic mode is just like the tabletop version while blitz is real-time so I never touched uh, blitz since it doesn't interest me okay so let's see we'll call it testing campaign and keep the difficulty level at medium uh, usually the difficulty level easy means strangely enough that the computer will try more dangerous crazy uh, actions while the hard mode is the AI will tend to be a bit more conservative so medium you know you get best of both uh, both worlds okay so you have a choice between 20 different uh, races and most of them have their own uh, characteristics they are very um, they are very different from one another there are a couple that are pretty much vanilla human well that's a vanilla race they can do a little bit of everything but not really well so when you start out your first team eh, humans are not really the best choice dwarves however are really really strong when you start out uh, they have uh, one big problem which is their very slow movement however they do have uh, high armor they also have starting skills like block and tackle which are really important then you have the Skaven Skaven are usually meant to be used as a passing team they have extremely fast catchers they have fairly good throwers they can do a little bit of bashing here and there but normally you will want to avoid confrontation when possible since they have pretty low armor orcs are another choice that is pretty nice for uh, new players since well they have a, a higher movement than dwarves but you know lower than most other teams however they do have strong uh, strong players the black orcs which are really good to hold a defensive line uh, and they also have the possibility to use a passing game but they're not really good at it then you have the lizard men lizard men are a mixed bag you have the Zoruses, uh, which form you know the basis for all your uh, physical actions they're really strong however they're not agile so you can't really rely on them to uh, pick up the, the ball or throw or catch and they also have the skinks the skinks are really fast and they also have uh, the dodge skill which makes them really nasty uh, to to tackle when you start out however well they're not strong and they have very low armor so they're not really dur uh, durable goblins goblins are really not a choice for new players they're not a really a team that's meant to win often however they're really fun you know they have trolls which can be really good you know uh, in a physical game and they have secret weapons uh, like uh, balls and chains the fanatic or uh, the chainsaw loony which I love uh, then you also have the bombardier which we see here on the screen and uh, then you have the pogo stick who is pretty much their uh, the, the one who's supposed to carry the ball now you have wood elves wood elves are really masters of the passing game 
they are incredibly fast they have very good uh, passers and their eye agility makes them really difficult to stop however well low armor class then there's also the problem that uh, well they're not really durable and if they face a team that is built around canceling their strengths mainly dodge so uh, teams that have a lot of uh, players with tackle well they're in real trouble chaos is a pretty decent choice for uh, a rookie player they're really really strong uh, chaos warriors for example the minotaur and uh, you also have the beastmen who uh, all have the very uh, good skill horns which can be used when blitzing anyway I'll, I'll get to that eventually however this team doesn't really start out with many skills so usually you'll have a little bit of trouble dealing with uh, teams like uh, dwarves or uh, wood elves would be uh, another example because you you just don't have the skills to stop them uh, but as they get stronger they get really difficult to play against dark elves are really nice uh, they're a sort of a mix between humans and elves so they can you know play a decent uh, running game they, they're pretty good at physical actions and they also have eye agility so the passing game is not a problem however their movement is lower than the uh, elven teams so you know there's all uh, and they, they don't have a big guy which can be a problem in certain cases the undead that's another team that's not really good for newbies uh, overall they're pretty slow and they're not really durable and there's also the problem that they can't use apothecaries so yeah it's a bit iffy they can be really strong but it takes a while to build them up halflings <laughs> stay stay clear of those well halflings are really pretty much the bottom of the barrel uh, it's hard to find a, a worse team a worse team than them uh, they can't really play physically they're, they're not durable sure you know they can dodge and sidestep but you know they won't live long enough to do it actually Norse are a good choice for new players and uh, Dark Hills were as well by the way the Norse start out with block well, almost all of them and that's always a 